Merry Christmas, everybody. Join us for News 8 at 6. He missed a spot. Right there. Okay? It's okay. I think it looks great. Well, I think it looks great, too. It's getting a little nippy out there. It's freezing. Did Adam say anything to you about my resignation? Your what? No, not a word. He hasn't said anything to me either. And he's been in an unusually good mood, and I don't know what's going on. Well, maybe he's just enjoying married life. I just keep expecting him to storm in here and throw a tantrum. It's driving me crazy. Oh, well, don't go crazy. Is the season to be jolly. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh, don we now our gay apparel. La 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 la. Roll the ancient yuletide carol. I can put you into Center City. Great, that, no, that's wonderful. That's the next best thing to being there. I can walk home from there. Let's see, uh, Los Angeles, Center City in return. And I can get you a confirmed seat. Where you are the best. Listen to something, uh, one question. When do I get there? You can appear underneath the tree as your folks are opening up their presents. Do it! That's great, that's great. Uh, listen, uh, one more question. Uh, how much is that going to cost? Let's see, that will be $760. American? Uh, listen, do me a favor, Gru, will you? Just see if you can diddle with the keys a little more and, and make that come out to about half that figure. Don't worry about it. Take your time. I, I know you can do it. You've, I've got confidence in you. Look. Uh -huh. You sure you made enough of those? Uh, well, maybe I did overdo it just a bit. Well, just make sure I don't eat them all up. Huh? huh? Oh, darling, I just, I just wish so much that all of our children could be with us for, the, for Christmas. You no, know, it's just, well, it's not going to be a very festive dinner with just us and the three boys. Mm, well, I wouldn't count on Charlie if I were you. Why not? Well, from what I can see, uh, he doesn't seem to want to have anything to do with us these days. I, I, oh. Ah, speaking of which, where have you been? Oh, listen, Mark Dalton wants you to call. He said it's important. Something about Elizabeth Carlyle wanting to see you. Well, that's too bad because I don't want to see her. Charlie, what has gotten into you? You know, I wish everybody would just leave me alone. Especially Mark Dalton. I don't want to have anything to do with him or Mrs. Carlyle, all right? Julie. No, not now. Wait. No, Julie, please, please don't go. Can't you just talk to me? Furniture Care with decorator Ann McKenzie. Hi. A client asked, how can I tell if my furniture has wax buildup? Well, if you use spray wax frequently, like for everyday cleaning, chances are you've got wax buildup. So use spray wax only occasionally to polish. For day-to-day -day cleaning, use Endust. It has no wax, no wax buildup. After cleaning your best with spray wax, spray Endust. If your cloth gets dirty, you've got wax buildup. So use spray wax only for occasional waxing. Use Endust for day-to-day -day cleaning. Important news today, Kleenex Huggies Super Trim Diapers, making happy babies from the coast of Maine to sunny California. In fact, nationwide. Why? 
We're pleased to report Huggies Super Trim Diapers have soft, gentle, elastic waistbands and a Super Trim padding that absorbs wetness and holds it away. So Super Trim is trim fitting and helps stop leaking. So tonight, it's happy news from Huggies. And that's the way it is. You've got a sore throat. Hello, would you? And a cough. <laughs> Put your throat on nice. Nice cools your throat. Showers your pain with medicine. Pleasantly. Would you like to buy a trusty little vacuum? No, thank you. So you can have a nice day. Wake up. I could run off the road and you wouldn't know the difference. I can't stay awake. Here, revive with Vivarin. Vivarin helps wake you up. Government appointed experts confirm it's safe, effective. Revive with Vivarin. Mrs. Wallingford, do you need any help with that? Oh, uh, no. No, thank you, Sarah. I'm just about finished now. Well, if you don't need me, would it be all right if I left a little early? Oh, of course, Sarah. You, you leave whenever you're ready. Oh, and be sure you give my very warmest wishes for a happy Christmas to your family. I will. You don't mind? You know, I don't like to leave you alone like this. Uh, I'll be perfectly fine. Besides, I'm, um, I'm taking Cecily out for a special dinner. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, so you don't need to worry about me. She oh, is now. Hi, hey, but I thought you were going with me. Ah, uh, I was just telling Mrs. Valentine about it. And Phoebe, I can't go. Well, why ever not? Well, I thought you were going to Brooks, so I made a date with Charlie. Well, you never mentioned it. Well, you never mentioned dinner. And wh why aren't you going to Brooks? Everyone's going to be there. I wouldn't dream of going where I'm not wanted. Oh, that's ridiculous. Now, Brooke would have been asked you if, if you hadn't been wanted. Uh, she only included me because she felt sorry for me. Oh, now you know that's not so. Brooke loves you. Well, I'm not going, and that's that. So you just run along, dear. Run along. I'll be quite fine right here all by myself at home, alone. Well, you know you're welcome to come and spend the evening with me and my family. Oh, thank you, Sarah, thank you. You be sure and give them my warmest regards now. Well, good night, Aunt Phoebe. Good night, mm -hmm. uh, Where is Charlie taking you? Oh, I don't know. He said we'd just grab a bite and then just play it by ear. I see. All right. Have fun. Thank you. Don't well, take your coat off. <laughs> yes, Aunt Phoebe. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Ooh, dashing through the Christmas, Phoebe. Oh, Langley. Oh, I just knew that you'd come. It wouldn't be Christmas without you. Come in, come in, dear. Oh, my darling. All is forgiven. I just came to get my good suit. What? But I thought you... I'm spending Christmas Eve with Adam and Brooke. I told you that. Hold on just a moment. Granddad, please, could you hurry this up, all right? I gotta go upstairs and change. It's not gonna take long. I want you to know, Charlie, I'm very unhappy about the way you've been behaving lately. You've been cross and you've been very sarcastic to all of us, and it's not justified. I'm sorry. Now look, Elizabeth Carlyle is gravely ill. Now for Pete's sake, it happens to be Christmas. Can't you forget about yourself? Look, look, um, honey, I, I know how unhappy you have been since you broke up with Julie. And we both feel very sorry and, and very sad about it. Grandy, I really don't want to talk about please, this right please, now. Please, please, honey, look. I know you still have very strong feelings for Julie, but I don't think you should give up. Eventually, things may just work out. <sighs> That's never going to happen, Grandy. All right, it's over between Julie and I. Darling, love doesn't just die. It didn't just die. Julie killed it. You have no idea how... how...
how happy I am to see you and how relieved. I prayed every night that you were safe. We all did, Julie. I just, I just came to give blood. I can't see you. I can't see anyone. Julie, I'm sorry I never told you about your mother. I didn't handle that right. I was going to tell you, of course I was going to tell you. I just didn't think the time was right. You were going through so much. All right, I had no right to keep the truth from you. I, I know that. Julie, it's just that I loved you so much and I want to protect you, that's all. Do you hate me so much that you can't even look at me? I don't hate you. I just can't talk to you. I, I can't talk to anyone in the family. I'm so sorry if that hurts you. No, I think so. It's all right. But you are going to stay around for a while, aren't you? I mean, for your mother's sake, she does need you. I can't do any more. Now, Julie, wait a minute. I, I... Wait, I don't, I don't know what Dr. Martin said to you. Your mother is in critical condition. Yes, all right, she, she needs blood. But she also needs a lot more. She needs the will to live, Julie, and you are the only one who can give that to her. You don't have to be a genius to know the more these kids like to taste of oatmeal, the more they're going to eat. So Quaker fruit and cream instant oatmeal comes in four real good flavors. Who ordered the peaches and cream? I did. And the bananas? Me. That means you get the... Strawberries. You're a strawberry. <laughs> Quaker fruit and cream instant oatmeal. It's the right thing to do and a lot of tasty ways to do it. Your day begins with the bare necessities. Derm Lotion, created for dermatologists so you know it's good for your skin. Absorbs quickly, every day, everywhere. Lubriderm, your bare necessity. What's for dinner? That's a question you must answer 365 dinners a year. Well, Lipton Recipe Soup Mix gives you days and days of delicious ideas, like onion baked pork chops, country style pot roast, a savory meatloaf, and pasta primavera. Only Lipton's toasted onion pieces and special seasonings could make food taste this delicious. So, what's for dinner? Lipton. Thin Maxis and Panty Shields, the prettiest to carry anywhere with you for thoroughly discreet protection. Whenever, whenever, they'll go whenever not with you, whenever. Our Scenic America packages are creating quite a scene. I wish someone would spill something. I Arkell, wish they would paper spill towel, a very important. Our Cal tells great performers. Uh, listen, what about uh, your discount? Can I use your discount? I, I could travel as, as, as a member I can't do of... that, okay? I mean, I can't even beat the 760 here. If you had made your reservation just a little I, I, bit I, I earlier... I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, you, you, you took your best shot. It's all Look, right. I'd lend you some, but Christmas really wiped me out. It's all right. It's all right. I can always go home in the spring. You ever seen Pine Valley in the spring? It's beautiful. It's an amazing place. Yeah. I, I gotta close up now. Maybe we could go out. Say, Ma. 
say it's a very Merry Christmas. Are you, honey, are you coming home? Oh, uh, Mama, that's what I'm calling you about. Look, I, I swear to you, I promise, I was just about to set foot on a plane and, uh, and then something came up. Business, hmm? Well, you know how it is. I mean, I, with irons in the fire and, and, and deals pending, you know. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that we're not going to see you this time, but I am, I'm, I'm happy for you, darling. I know how, how important your work is to you. Oh, my, d d look, d please don't get depressed on me. I, you know how it is. I mean, getting off the ground is the hardest part. But you are on your way. Your father and I are so proud of you, and we miss you. We miss you very much. Here, darling, wait a minute. Here, here he is. Hi, son. How you doing? Fine, Dad. Merry Christmas. Uh, same to you. Looks like you're, you're uh, not going to be able to make it this time around? Uh, no, no. You know how it is. Busy, busy, busy. And, and uh, this is the crazy time of year. I see. Well, uh, tell me, what, what have you got on the fire? Uh, uh the deals, you know. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, look, well, um, uh, Dad, I've, 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 got, I've got it off now. I'm, everybody, everybody's paging. Everybody wants a piece of me today. Look, I, I promise I'll, uh, I'll, I'll make it home this spring, okay? Yeah, I hope you can. You know, we'd love to see you. Yeah, me too. Oh, Dad, do me a favor, okay? Please tell uh, Joey and Charlie that I, uh, that, uh, j just tell them Merry Christmas, okay? Yeah, of course. You take care of yourself. Yeah, you too, Dad. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, son. Your son, we love you. Me too. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you that I have the best family in the world? Yeah, well, uh, look. What do you say, you and I go out and make our noses red? Everything looks so warm and cheery. It's a lot different than the Christmas Scott and I had last year. Well, we are glad to have you with us. You are part of our family now. Thanks for making us feel so welcome. Mom, can I call Stuart and invite him over? Um, I don't know, Scott. Uh, Christmas Eve's a pretty special time. He might want to spend it with his own family. I could wish him a Merry Christmas. Listen, Scott, maybe later. I want to talk to your mom for a minute, okay? Hey, boys, why don't you come with me so we can find some more Christmas music, okay? Yeah! Yeah! Let's go get it! All right, all right! Wait for me! <laughs> you think I should let him call? Listen, I couldn't help noticing that there's a package under the tree with Stuart's name on it. I know. I bought it a long time ago before it... before I found out I was sick. Cindy, we don't know that yet. I've got symptoms. We both know there's a good chance I have AIDS. There is a chance, but let's not think the worst. Cindy, please, don't close the door on friendship and love. They're too precious. And the monkey with the heart and the elephant with... I mean, the, <laughs> the snake who had a sweater all lived happily ever after. <laughs> Having Christmas with you. And Sky and Stuart and and now Brooke and Laura. I feel like I have a family for the first time since we left West Virginia. And it feels wonderful. I'm happy for you, Adam. I'm sure this isn't the happiest Christmas you've ever had, but you're surrounded by people who love you. And it will stick by you no matter what this new year brings. Excuse me. Oh, yes, excuse me. Um. I told Cook to go heavy on the rolled salami, but... I'm it... sure it's fine, Leslie. Thank you very much. How are we doing? Darling, yeah. uh, did you happen to get an envelope that I left for you? Oh! Oh, you're off key. Oh. Mitch, am I off key? Well, I know you sound pretty good to me. Thank you. Well, then you have a tinny ear. Hillary, tell him he was off. No, no, I think he sounded good. Uh, you're outnumbered, sweetheart. Uh -huh. Oh, was that you, Tom, singing slightly off key? <laughs> Thank you, you, Professor. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Mm, it was good to hear your voices raised in song. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, oh, everybody. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. Look who's back. Hi. So good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you. Look how tan you are. Oh, no. I shouldn't let you in this house. <laughs> no. Really? 
Hi, Mitch. Hi, how are girl. you? Merry Christmas. Is this oh, how beautiful. Oh, oh no. thank you very much. Well, I guess I don't have to ask. Obviously, you had a great time. Oh, yes, yes, we did. Oh. <laughs> I recommend a week in Tahiti for everyone. Oh. It's good to have you back, my love. Oh, we missed good. you. We missed you. Although I wouldn't right. Oh, look at this yeah. table. boss is already here, doesn't it? Huh? You like that, Merry Christmas, Daddy. Merry Christmas, Scott. You look wonderful. Oh, thank you. Mm. Ross. Ross, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Where's Uncle Stuart? Oh, he's out making the rounds like he does every year. Dressed as Santa Claus. Oh, how sweet. And he has a ball doing it. He'll be back before too long. All right, everybody, let's uh, have... Uh, there's eggnog, there's hot cider. Have anything you like. Let's have a party. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, too. Seven years today, when Jim and I started out, we were on a tight budget. And that's when I discovered Suave. After Jim got a promotion, I tried those expensive shampoos and conditioners. You know what? They weren't any better. They just cost more. So I came back to Swap. I don't have to spend a fortune on my hair. Swap just makes me look like I do. Try Swap Mousse Hairspray and Gel for beautiful styles and look like you spent a fortune on your hair. Let it begin. Let your best come through. Wash with medicated Noxzema skin cream every day instead of soap to really dig out oil and makeup. It's the best beginning for clean, clear, glowing skin. Let it begin. Beautiful skin. Let it begin. Beautiful skin. Let it begin with Noxzema. is a diaper designed to help stop leaking all night long. From Love's Deluxe, happy holidays to all, and to all a good night. I sneeze so much I think my nose is broke. I have the worst cold I ever had in my whole life. My cold makes me feel like I'm underwater with my fish. For all these colds, there's Pediacare. Unlike medicines adults can take, Pediacare is made especially for a child's cold or a child's cold with a cough. <coughs> and it's measured precisely for your child's age and weight. My cold room, bye-bye. A child's cold needs special care, Pediacare. If there is a miracle child, we're going to find him together. The search begins. I've got to find out if my son is alive or not. But there's danger in Argentina. Forget you ever heard the name Milagro. All he will bring you is death. Tina! Tina, you're all right. Tina. We looked all over. There's no sign of any baby anywhere. Milagro is alive. I saw him. <laughs> One life to live. You're going to help us put this squeeze on Max and Tina, right? Weekdays. <laughs> Honey, this is beautiful. Mommy is quite impressed. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful. You're absolutely right. No, I'm really sorry Charlie couldn't be. Oh, me too. But you know how teenagers are. He has a date with Cecily Davidson tonight. Oh. And Jeff volunteered for night duty, yeah. so Dr. Carter could be with his children. Well, that's awfully nice of you. I bet you two are going to have a big group for Christmas. No, actually, this is going to be a very quiet Christmas in our house. Hey, honey, I could use some help uh, with the snacks. Oh, yeah, Mom, sure. Okay. Oh, boy. Did uh, Jesse say what time he was going to get here? No, but I'm sure he'll be here soon. Yeah, well, I hope so, because if not, you know, Frankie's going to be awfully disappointed. There you okay, go. That does it. All right. Great. Be careful. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we're going to need more eggnog. Oh, yeah, there's plenty in the refrigerator. Um, 
What if Jesse doesn't show up? Oh, he's going to show up. Angie, he, he doesn't want me living here. He's worried about you and Frankie. Well, I told him he didn't have to worry. Okay? It certainly is a beautiful tree. It certainly is. I think the kids did a wonderful <laughs> job. What is that? Yo, 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 yo. Merry Christmas, everybody. I tried to come down the chimney, but it was too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. What? It's my dad. Uh -oh. <laughs> Frankie, my boy, you sure are sharp. You sharp, my boy. Yes, indeed. Well, Merry Christmas, Santa. Is that hey, your Merry latest Christmas. undercover disguise? <laughs> it's the best one yet. Yes. <laughs> What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Oh, what lots of presents, oh. I'll bet. Yeah, let's see. Come on, get it open. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Hurry up. Oh. Count of three, you four. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what is this stuff? Well, that stuff happens to be Santa's clothes, because Santa's kind of hoping he can move back home. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, Frankie! Be in that clay, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate Christmas. I mean, my mother's idea of it was just to take us away someplace. I don't think we were ever in the same place for two Christmases in a row. We were usually at some trendy resort or a cruise or something. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad to me. Actually, it was pretty awful. I, mean, I just wanted a traditional celebration, you know? Like my friends had with brothers and sisters and aunts and cousins popping in and a big, beautiful tree and a fireplace. You would have liked Christmas here. Oh, I know. This place is so cozy. I bet you always wake up to wonderful smells coming from that kitchen. Well, most of the time. <laughs> Mostly I just uh, want a mother, wanted a mother and a father who would love me. Cecily, you've got a mother that loves you. Oh, yeah, but, you know, she's never going to win Mother of the Year. <laughs> You know, some people just aren't meant to be parents. Oh, there was this one time. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, you I'm sorry. I, I'm not very good company tonight. You're thinking about Julie's mom, aren't you? Well, no. What makes you think that? Well, I know she wants to see you. Um, maybe you should go talk to her. Cecily, what's the point of it? You know, I've been working so hard to get over Julie and get her out of my life. And, and I don't want to jump right back into it with her mother. Yeah, Charlie, but what if she dies? All right, Miss Chandler, you may go in. But not for long, please. She's very weak. Thank you. Are you sure this is a good idea? Go on. You know you want to see her. Will you wait for me? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right here. Come Mom, are you awake? Julie. I won't wear anything without Cross Your Heart. Because Cross Your Heart has crisscross shaping. So I always look better, whatever I wear. Playtex Cross Your Heart Bra. Don't wear anything without Cross Your Heart. From Playtex. The fit that makes the fashion. Oh, sure, Heinz tried to make their homestyle gravy like homemade. Used real beef, beef juices, my seasonings, but there's still something missing. <laughs> there are no lumps. See? Heinz homestyle gravy, so close to homemade. Here at San Francisco's Coffee Cantata Gourmet Coffee House, you'll find people who really know their coffee.
Today, we're secretly replacing the Cantata's freshly ground coffee with Mountain Grown Folgers Crystals. Will it be rich enough? It has a nice aroma. It tastes like good, rich, fresh ground coffee. It's Folgers Crystals. It is? In a coffee house? It tastes like fresh ground coffee that we would serve at home. This is good. This is, this is a nice coffee. Mountain Grown Folgers Crystals. Coffee rich enough to be served in America's finest gourmet coffee houses. All My Children will continue in a moment. Hi, I'm Joan London. And I'm Charles Gibson. We'd like to take a moment to wish you the very best this holiday season. So from our Good Morning America family to yours, have a happy and healthy new year. This week at Michael Drug, all Christmas decorations, Christmas wrap, and box Christmas cards are now half price. That's right, half price. So don't miss the savings at Michael Drug. This is it. <laughs> The big day when I announce American Family Publishers' next multimillionaire is almost here. I will personally award cash millions this February. Find your fast win ticket in the envelope with my picture. Beat this date, and two months from now, you may become an American Family Millionaire. Just, Just like, like us. Millions of dollars, all for you. Enter fast, win fast at American Family. When you've got a new puppy, you go to the veterinarian for advice. And when Alpo set out to make their puppy food, they went there too. They asked veterinarians what they wanted in a puppy food. And the result is Alpo puppy food. With the high quality protein and easy digestibility, veterinarians told us puppies need. And the taste puppies love. Alpo puppy food in bags and cans. Veterinarians helped Alpo make it. And puppies approved. I found Charlie, but I couldn't persuade Mark, him to come over. Mark, Julie is here. Here in the hospital? Yes, yes, she's on her way to see Liz right now. What happened? Which, which, when did she get here? Just a few minutes ago. I, I ran into her. She was leaving. Leaving? Where was she going? Well, she came here to give blood, Mark. Mark, she doesn't want anything to do with me. I had all I could do to convince her to see Liz. I know this is probably going to hurt you, but... I'm glad she's seeing Liz. Mark, look, she's probably going to disappear again after she does that. Well, let's count our blessings. At least she's here. At least it still shows that she cares. Mark, if she goes, how are we going to find her? I promise you, we won't lose her again. We'll keep tabs on her somehow, some way. How'd she look? Fine. Fine. No, no. No, she's too thin. And she's tired. Oh, thank God she's all right. Be okay. Finally, we've got a new beginning. I am so very sorry that you were hurt. I never thought I would see you again. I was so afraid Creed. I never should have left you. If I had it to do over, I... Please, please just don't talk. You're going to tire yourself out. I may never get a chance to tell you. I don't expect you to... understand or forgive me. Because you are not, you're not going to die. It's all right. 
I'm not afraid. Not now. Mom, no. Mom, no. You can't die. You cannot die, Mom. I forgive you. I do. I really forgive you. Mom, you can't just give up. You've got to fight back, Mom. Please. 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 <laughs> Maybe it's the beard that gave me away. No question yeah. about it. <laughs> oh, give Angie a hand, would you, honey? Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, I, I, oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Don't spill. Don't spill on the chair. And don't you move. I've been trying to get you over here under the mistletoe all evening. Uh -huh, as if you needed mistletoe. Mm, well, you know what they say. I'm just a sucker for tradition. Come here, you. Oh, well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, now that I have you, what am I going to do with you? You're going to have to take care of me, of course. Oh, I said, well, let's fluff you out here, OK? <laughs> fluff me up? <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, sweetheart. Fine, are you okay? This is the best Christmas ever. I want to stay with Frankie and the Hubbards forever. Well, forever is a pretty long time. But, um, I like being here, too. This is a good family to be a part of, isn't it? I dream we're very lucky. <laughs> Frankie, Scott, Joey, how about something to eat? Yes! Oh, yes. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Another Santa Claus! <laughs> it's me. Can I come in? Okay, everybody, dinner break! Oh, yeah. Warm up all your holiday activities with something new. McDonald's Holiday Chicken McNuggets. In festive 9 and 20 piece packs, tasty chunks of chicken, and two new sauces. Tangy cranberry with a twist of orange, and sweet apple spiced with cinnamon. Better chime in before holiday McNuggets are gone. Flight 124, fly runway heading to 3000, right turn to 270. You are cleared for takeoff. Presenting DuPont Certified Stain Master Carpet. Stain Master gives you a revolutionary level of protection against stains and spills that's unsurpassed by any other carpet you can buy today. Because you never know. Gentlemen, start your engine. Stain Master from DuPont Carpet Fibers. Mattel Preschool wants to know what did your C and C teach you? The rooster says. <laughs> I never cross the street alone. I hold a grown-up's hand. <laughs> Run, are you an? <laughs> Jack and Joe went up the hill. Fetching. See and say, learning's never been more fun. <laughs> Only from Mattel Preschool. <laughs> Hi there, it's me, Snuggle Fabric Softener. Clothes feel so soft, smell mmm. Fresh when you use me. Snuggle fabric softener. Snuggly softness that's really less expensive. Feel fresh all day with Shield deodorant soap. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock fresh. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock fresh. Gonna feel fresh the whole day through with Shield. Fresh all day with Shield. Thursday, enter the magical world of Santa and his elves. Journey behind the scenes of the making of a movie spectacular. Dudley Moore hosts this holiday special for the entire family, Santa Claus, the making of the movie. Then, take a ride through those thrilling days of yesteryear. Who is that master? The legend of the Lone Ranger. I owe silver! Tonight. I know, I know I should, should have called first. I don't, I don't know what I... What it was I did that made you so angry, but I'm sorry, and I never meant to hurt you, that's no, for sure. Stuart, it's nothing that you did, I, and I owe you an apology. Um, come in. 
You sure it's all right? I'm positive. I'm glad you came over. Come on. <laughs> oh, 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 Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Look at this. Stuart. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Scott. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Yo, brother. <laughs> <laughs> look like twins, just just like me and Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe you better hold on. Oh. Santa has to give out a bunch of presents <laughs> to everyone. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Scott, you oh, wanna that. help me hand out the presents? Okay. Yeah, I'll be Santa's helper. Well, we can all help. Here, everybody take the present, huh? Give it to somebody. Oh, hey, oh thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Joey, how lovely. Is it mine? Oh, oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Well, well this is a wonderful set. Now, hello. Oh, you got one for yourself? Oh, there we are. Oh, 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 my God. Look at this. I don't know. I love this. I don't know what it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> and if he isn't nice to you, you pull his whiskers. Right, right there, those. Right Don't there. be silly. I love you. <laughs> Delicious. Happy? Ecstatic. Did you ever get the letter that I sent you or not? What letter? The letter that I left on your desk at the office. I... Didn't see any letter. No. How could you not see the letter? It was in plain sight. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Was it um, by any chance a love letter? Not exactly. Hmm. Would well, you want to tell me what it was in it? Yes. Not right now. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You really want me to open this now? Please. I thought we were going to wait till tomorrow morning. Well, we were, but this one is special. Oh, well, all right. If since it's special, what's in here, bricks? I'm just open it and see. All right, all right, all right. Bibles? What are you doing? I, Sky Cudahy, do solemnly swear right. never to lie to Thomas oh, Cudahy yeah. again. <laughs> Ever, as long as I live. Uh, anybody ever tell you you're a nut? <laughs> that sounds familiar. You're an adorable nut. I love you so much. I love you too. And I mean it. No more lies. I promise. Don't take off that beard till after the J.C. Penny after Christmas sale, starting Saturday at 8 a.m. Because now you can play Santa for yourself with 25 to 50 percent off a collection of Mrs. Blouses and sweaters, women's outerwear, sleepwear, and robes. Savings on our entire line of lingerie, fine jewelry too. All men's sweaters and outerwear, 25 to 50 percent off. So play Santa one more time, J.C. Penny. We bring out the Santa in you. J.C. Penny. I've got a headache this big and it's screaming for Excedrin. I've got a headache this big and it's screaming for Excedrin. I've got a headache this big and it's screaming for Excedrin. Excedrin, the headache medicine. More medicine than regular strength pain relievers. This much more. Nothing proven stronger without a prescription. I had a headache this big, but I took Excedrin and it's gone. It's gone. Go on. Excedrin from Bristol Myers. Excedrin, the headache medicine. Usually I get things right. I do, but not my perms. Almost right, not quite right. Wrong. So now what? Precisely right by Ogilvy. The perm you can't get wrong because it shuts itself off so it won't over perm or frizz. Look, beautiful body and soft, shiny curl. I finally got it right. Precisely right by Ogilvy. You just can't get it wrong. Speaking of Ogilvy, they've got amazing things to make dull hair shiny, dry hair silky, straight hair curly, and limp hair lively. It's not what you've got. It's what you and Ogilvy do with it. I love lemons cause they're cute and yellow But the best part about them is the way they smell Whoa, I love lemon liquid cascade Up till now when I've been in my kitchen
kitchen Must have been the lemon scent that I've been missing Now I can't help but smile cause that smell is just so pleasing And my virtually spotless dishes are the other reason I love lemon liquid cascade We're lemon! Sunday. Mob chiefs aren't big on making deals. There's four of us, Spencer. Four or four hundred. Spencer for hire. You go first. Then. Hello. Here are two guys who know where they're going. We're in prison. Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor are going stir crazy. Sunday. You said you trusted me. I know I do, but. Don't worry. Oh, it's cold out here. <sighs> Better? Yes. <laughs> what are we doing out here? <sighs> Aren't you freezing? No, oh, I could be freezing with a hot looking babe like you. <laughs> Mitch, I'm so happy. <laughs> I mean, ever since you found me on that plane to Chicago, it's just like. No, no, it's just like I'm living in some kind of dream. And you're used to never waking up. Hmm. <sighs> Hillary, look, there's... What? What is it? Something I want to say. It's, uh... Yeah. I'm not good at this. What? Just to you with all my love. Merry Christmas. Go ahead, open it. Come on. Oh. Oh, Mitch. It's, it's a ring. It's not a diamond, but... It's jade. Yeah. And I love it. Sure. Yes. If you don't like it, I, I can take it back, you know? No, 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 you can't take it back. <laughs> it's beautiful. In the Orient, Hillary, Jade is a symbol of fidelity. I'll always be faithful to you. Oh, oh it's beautiful. Oh, and it, it, it's, someone must have told you my ring size. Well, I don't know it must have been luck or fate. It's nice, huh? Yeah. Mitch. Usually, when a guy gives a girl a ring like this, it means that... It means he loves her, and he wants a future with her. Hillary, look, I don't have my divorce from Louisa yet, but... When I do, I... I want you to marry me. You want me to... Oh! I'm sorry. Oh, Bad no, timing. No, no that's, that's um, okay. I'll only keep you a minute. Did you see... Oh, it's cold here. Did you see... Did you see... Um, Adam and Laura come out no, of here? No, I, I didn't see them at all. Well, I haven't seen them in the house. I haven't. I didn't know where they were. I thought maybe they came no, out here. Knowing Adam, he probably bought him a whole bunch of ponies and <laughs> showing her down there. Ponies? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Christmas, Phoebe. Adam, what on earth are you doing here? I, I thought you were having a little uh, gathering at your home. We are, but someone missed you very much, and we decided to come over and say hello. Oh. Oh, oh Merry Christmas. Oh, Laura. Oh, you precious thing. Thank you. I think I'm going to cry. Come in, come in. Uh. Thank you, sweetheart. Darling, did you really miss your Aunt Phoebe? <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh. Well, all right, Phoebe. I, uh, I want to see a little gratitude. What? Over right there. Uh, oh, oh, Adam. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
How is she? She's sleeping. I have to go. Julie? Would you come home with me? I... I can't. I'm just not ready. I love you. Now, maybe you don't want to hear that, but it's true. And I am so grateful that you are alive and that you're well. It's the best Christmas present that anybody could ever give. You will... You'll keep in touch miss, with me, won't you, this time? Yes. Promise? I promise. Well, then I'll say good night. I... Merry Christmas, sweetheart. And I hope that the new year brings you every happiness that you deserve. I... Merry Christmas. Thank you. to get your rest. I'm sorry, miss. Visiting hours are over. I'm going. One more thing. Yes? I think he gave up on me. I don't think so. He hates me, but I don't blame him. I, I think you're wrong about that. Please, just work on getting your strength back. Good night, Mother. Good night. Good night, my darling girl. How'd it go? Okay, I guess. Where to now? Don't laugh. But I would really like to go to church. Charlie Brent. It's got to be there someplace. On January 29th, publishers Clearinghouse announces the number that could win you $10 million. Just look for the house and remember to enter the Publishers Clearinghouse Sweepstakes. We won $10 million. You can too. <laughs> From the director of Platoon, Wall Street. Now you do good, you get perks. The most enjoyable movie of the year. Just the beginning, pal. Michael Douglas, Charlie Sheen, Wall Street, Reddit R. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Morning, ladies. Morning. Like to see how your cereals stack up to total? Lovely idea. To get the vitamins in one bowl of total, it takes almost three bowls of Special K. Pass the all brand, Gloria. Takes four bowls of that. That's why I like shredded wheat. Then you'll have to eat 12 bowls. You better loosen your girdle, Margaret. <laughs> Total has 100% of nine vitamins and iron and is rich in calcium. I've always preferred Total. Me too. I just total, a stack of nutrition in just one bowl. If you're choosing a pain reliever for a headache and want strength, choose this one. 
Nothing is stronger for headaches. Nothing. If you're concerned about stomach irritation, choose this. It won't irritate your stomach like aspirin or even ibuprofen can. The truth is, if you want a pain reliever that does both, your one choice should be Tylenol. Tylenol, it's tough on pain, easy on your stomach. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. This is Jed Duval for market openings, overseas economics reports, and the first business news every morning. Watch ABC's World News This Morning's business report before Good Morning America. Hi, my name is Paul Provenza. Friday nights, Brian Keith and I star in a brand new comedy series, The Pursuit of Happiness. So check us out tomorrow after Mr. Belvedere. Coming up, does Tina's heart belong to Max or Cord? Stay tuned for One Life to Live next. Dawn, we now are gay apparel. Fa la la la.